All right, so today is day number 63 of setting five far. Uh, oh, hold up. Um, the bulk is working. We have our first meal. It's 11 o'clock. We got four eggs, egg whites, two whole bananas, and then coffee. I'm trying to go back to my old schedule of waking up at like 7 in the morning, getting everything done before 12, and then kind of being able to really like better myself. I've just been really bad about waking up early uh, lately, but it's alright. But I hope you guys are having a great day out there. Uh, live today, be alive today, don't just go through the motions. We all fall short of doing that a lot, especially me. I do it basically every single week, every single day. But you got to be present today. Uh, take action on those dreams you have. Take one step closer to them, and you'll be one step closer to achieving those dreams that you have. Don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. Don't let people steer you away from them. Just look to God for answers. And that brings us to the next thing. This is your reminder to pray. Help someone in need. Live humbly. Spread the gospel. And put a smile on someone's face today. You never know how it can affect someone, change someone, or save someone's life. But, uh, yeah. it's kind of how it's going. Oh, also, if you want to help support me by using my code for, like, Alpine and stuff in the back. My Alpine code is SAMM. Save 10%. And my Fuel Meals code is SAM30. Save 30%. Um, uh, but, uh, yeah, uh, we had a bunch to do today, like, picking up money, um, doing a bunch of, like, random chores for myself. Um, what else, what else? Uh, we have legs today. Uh, we have posterior legs, if you don't know what that is, for people who, a lot of, like, from what I've seen, a lot of bodybuilders do it, compared to just a regular gym bro, but, because obviously I'm training for bodybuilding, um, if you haven't seen my prep, go, uh, I don't know where the place to be, just go on my profile on YouTube, it'll have like all my, uh, not necessarily prep files, but all my videos on prep, and then my show day video, go watch those, and I've been doing my bulk for now about two months, two months, yeah, and uh, we're about to do a little mini cut, because I got too fat, too, not, not too fat, but I ate too much, I overate uh, right after my show, so I put on a lot of extra fat. So we're going to trim that down and be able to get from a starting point where we're lean, but not unhealthily lean. Um, we're probably going to do that when I hit 232. I'm like 229 right now. I, I'm like 6'1", 6'2", shoes. I don't know. Six, let's just say 6'1". Um, 229, 228, and uh, yeah, that's kind of how it's going so far. So, like, little updates I don't usually do, but I'm gonna get this meal down, I'm gonna be grateful for it, be grateful for the food you have on your plate today, and uh, yeah, be great today, and I'll catch y'all after this meal. Alright, so it is the third meal of the day right now, it's almost four hours later. Um, we, for a second meal, we had protein shake with collagen, creatine, and all that good stuff, but we have chicken and rice now. Uh, we have a lot of it, and we have sugar-free ketchup to help it go down. I'm going to mix it up real quick, but, uh, we're obviously eating a lot more now, so, yeah, I mean, I, I get hungry really quick, obviously, from me eating more, but mostly for the fact of... In the early part of the day, I eat my healthy food, my on-diet food, and then if my mom makes dinner, I'll eat my free meal for the for the last meal of the day, which is usually the case. So, all all this food just goes in and out really quick from how clean it is. Like, if you've ever been on a diet, you'll know what I mean. Um, I'm sure there's a scientific reason for it, but it's just to put it into simple terms. Whenever I eat clean, like rice, chicken, and stuff, it goes in and out like that, but whenever I eat, like, really greasy, really, like, 
bad food for you. It stays in my system, and it just makes me, I wouldn't say bloated, just, you don't feel as good. When, if you ever do a diet, which I highly recommend, one that's not a very, very strict one, but if you do a relatively uh, conservative diet, like you eat certain foods and don't eat certain foods, um, you'll feel a lot better really quick. Probably, I'd say, for me, I when I switch diets, I can feel better or worse within like a week. Maybe faster. Um, that's just how I am. But yeah, I had to eat this and uh, pray before we eat. Be thankful for the food on our plate. And I'll catch y'all at the next meal or if I'm at the gym. So that is day 63 of 75 hard done um, in the video you couldn't really tell but uh, after the RDLs I got like a really weird lightheadedness where I couldn't like I literally couldn't breathe so I just kind of like sat there I, I probably looked so goofy to everybody in the gym they probably thought I was like a crackhead or something but uh, I was just sitting up against the wall behind where I was doing RDLs probably 10 minutes or five, ten minutes after the, uh, both sets, I only did two working sets, but after both working sets of RDLs, I just sat there because from I couldn't breathe. I've been messing, I've not even been messing up. I've been skipping my cardio because going to the gym at eight o'clock at night and ending the workout at ten and still having to do cardio is a very big disadvantage. But I just gotta suck it up and get it done because it's really affecting my uh, lips, at least my cardiovascular side, uh, like. Once I get to the 12 rep range, I'll start huffing and puffing. But it's your sign to do cardio, um, even on the bulk, even on the bulk. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was another short one. It's hard to uh, keep the longer videos every single day, especially with doing the same mundane things. I've been very bad about staying consistent with ice, with cold showers and reading and stuff. 
just from how repetitive and I, can, I literally feel crazy from doing the same thing every day for the past 50, no, 63 days. But that just means I just got to keep pushing and I got to do better because doing the same thing every day and expecting a different result is just not going to happen. So I have to keep, I need to start reading again. I need to start doing cold showers. Um, just challenge yourself. Like I sound, I sound like an off brand version of David Goggins right now, but he really is speaking the truth when he says you got to, uh, do something you hate every single day because if you don't, you begin to become lazy. Uh, obviously I get my videos and everything done for the dream I have for bodybuilding and everything, but everything else is just kind of on the back burner right now. Um, which I don't like and none of y'all should like that. Y'all should always have priorities and have them set out. But we all have those shortcomings, so if you're out there, it's all right to, to mess up for a few weeks at a time or a few days. Just get back on track, make up for that lost time, and have fun while doing it. Um, I will admit, the 75 hard is being a lot, it's, a, it's really hard. It's one of the hardest undertakings I've had. I thought it was gonna be really easy coming off my bodybuilding prep. Obviously the bodybuilding prep was a lot harder, but the 75 hard is so repetitive. It's just very difficult to stay, not motivated, but keeping the videos best quality from what I'm doing every single day for you guys. So let me know in the comments if you're liking these videos with more talking. And uh, let me know if you wanna start hearing more like mic'd up workouts after the 75 hard stuff. The reason I don't do them now is because they take forever to edit. So once I'm done with this challenge, which will be in like a week, um, week and a half, I will be doing them more because if, if you ever watch my older videos, I grunt a lot, I get really hype, and it's just more enjoyable. I used to hate those type of videos, but now I really enjoy them from how saturated my videos are with just putting a uh, hard style edit on the stuff. I, I'm not gonna stop doing that, but I wanna move more towards mic'd up because one that's popular, and I see why. And just because it's kind of more fun. Um, obviously, I don't really talk in the gym, so it's going to be me grunting like the whole workout. But uh, yeah, it's my little rant done. So, hope you guys enjoyed. This is your reminder to pray. Help someone in need. Live humbly. Spread the gospel and put a smile on someone's face today. You never know how it could affect someone, change someone, or save someone's life. Help those people out that you see in the world. Uh, be that positive change. Spread the gospel. Try, try praying. Just try it once. I promise you, like God has so many good plans for you. He's in the middle of working for me. I mean, working on me. And uh, yeah, just have faith. Keep grinding and he will deliver. Um, I thank you guys and I give all glory to God for making these videos possible and for me to be able to chase these dreams. I thank everybody for, who, you, whoever's watching this, you know who's been able to help me. Um, I get a lot of help from my family financially for these type of things so I'm very grateful for that and just be grateful for whatever you have no matter how much you have just be grateful be grateful be grateful and uh yeah see y'all in the next one I love you guys I'll catch y'all in the next one